We are in uh, the third chapter of the Laws of Tshuva. Today we're going to learn Halakha Gimel, third Halakha, and we'll try to squeeze in also the fourth one. So, we're in chapter three, Halakha Gimel. Kol mi shenicham ala mitzvot shasa. Any person that regrets the mitzvot that he did. Vetaha ala zchuyot, and he says, Ach, I wish I didn't do that. What a waste of time this whole Torah thing is. And he said in his heart, I really wasted my time with this whole nonsense. I wish I wouldn't even do them. He lost all his mitzvot. And they'll never give him a merit for what he did. I knew, well, I met many people who said that, but I, there was one guy who happened to be, he arrived the yeshiva where I arrived the same day. So the head of the yeshiva constantly thought we're friends. Where's your friend? Said, He's not my friend. It happened to me. We came on the same day. Up until today, if I see him, what's with your friend? I was like, it's not even my friend. Anyways, this friend, I don't even know how he came to yeshiva, but he was in yeshiva for, I don't know what, he survived three and a half weeks. And the whole time he was mumbling, ah, what a waste of time, what a waste And I was like, you know what, the minimum that you did, at least shut up, because you're going to lose it. So there are many people who, who say such things. So now Rambam comes and clarifies, don't say such things, because you lose it. And then they give those mitzvot to whoever deserves it. So don't do such things. Where do we learn that you can lose your mitzvot? Shenemar, as it says, in the book of Yechezkel 33, uh, verse 12, one sinner, no, sorry, the righteous of the righteousness of the righteous will not save him on the day of his transgression. Meaning that you did a mitzvah, you said, I wish I, I wouldn't have it, I wouldn't do it, you lose it, you're not going to get it. And this is when you are uh, uh, saying that on the first mitzvot that you did. Because uh, it's not going to cover all the mitzvot unless you say, I give up all my mitzvot. And the same way that when you die, they take you to the heavenly court and they put all your sins and all your mitzvot on the scale and they weigh it. That's uh, inevitable. You can't get away with it. That's what's going to happen the day you die. Don't think that you're going to be taken to some island and they're going to give you some pina colada. They're going to take you to directly to the heavenly court and you should pray that you're not going to go through the long route. The short route is that they take you straight to the heavenly court. The long route is that they give you a surprise party, a welcoming party by the battalions of the Malachi Chabala, that they come and uh, give you like a, what we call in Israel a Zubug. They give you a welcoming party. So you reach already to the heavenly court all bruised and uh, beaten up and your, and your whole neshama is uh, shaken. But nevertheless, when you die, they take you to the heavenly court and they start your trial and they put your sins and your, and your uh, uh, mitzvot that you did you, on the scale and they weigh it. But the same thing they do every year. They weigh your sins and your mitzvot, every, not only you, all, all the creatures of the world. He says, This animals too, I told you yesterday, cities, countries, animals, creatures, humans, everybody. They put on the scale and they weigh their sins and their merits. When? On Judgment Day, which is on Rosh Hashanah, exactly two weeks from today. How wonderful. Mishinim Tzadik, a person that is found righteous, and you remember yesterday we defined what's righteous, that you have more, majority of mitzvot. And, eh, you know, there's a question if it's 51, 49. If you have 59% mitzvot, 49 of what? Uh, but nevertheless, Tzadik will be the one that has a stronger weight in the mitzvot. Nechtam lechaim. He will be sealed in the book of life. Umishin im tzarasha, and the one who was found guilty or wicked, majority of sins, nechtam lemita, he is going to be sealed in the book of death. Vehabeinoni, 
A benoni, I told you already, this is not the benoni that the Balatanya is talking about. This means half mitzvot, half averot. Tolin lo ad Yom Kippurim. They put the sin on hold till Yom Kippur. Ima sa tshuva. If he did tshuva, that person, nechtam lechaim. Then he will be sealed in the book of life. Leim love, and he didn't do tshuva, nechtam lemita. He will be sealed in the book of death, and that's it, the end of the story. What do you want to take from this halacha? Don't ever, chas v'shalom, give up any mitzvah that you did. And even if you feel it was a waste of time, you have a weak moment in your life, you're depressed, you're unhappy, whatever it is, don't ever say what a waste of time, you're going to need these mitzvot one day. Next, halacha dalet, the fourth halacha. Afal pi shetekiat shofar berosh hashana gzerat hakatuv, even though... The, the one of the greatest mitzvot, some even say the mitzvah of Rosh Hashanah is the blowing of the shofar. But nevertheless, this is a gzera. This is what the, the Torah says. That we have to blow the shofar on this day. But nevertheless, there is a hint in the shofar that it says, Remez yeshbo. What is the hint in the shofar? Uru yeshenim. Wake up, sleepy, sleepers or sleepies, however you want to say it. Uru yeshenim ishnatchem, the ones who fell asleep and you are numb, wake up. Venir damim, the ones that are, uh, you know, like uh, uh, half asleep, half awake. Akitsu mitar demetchem, wake up from your coma. Vechapsu b'maasechem vechizru b'tshuva. Go through your actions, find the wrong things and do tshuva. Vezichu b'ra'achem, and remember your creator. Ilo shokachim et ha'emet v'hev le'azman v'shogim. Kol shenatam b'hev l'varik, asher lo yoil v'lo yatsil. The ones of you who forgot the truth. Why? Behevle as man. You passed your time with nonsense. Veshogim. And a lot of it was by mistake. Vekol shnatam behevel. And all your year was wasted on emptiness and nothingness. Hevel varik. Asher lo yoil velo yatsil. This is not going to survive, not going to help you, not going to save you for anything. Abitu lenafshotechem. Look real good deep in your soul. And shape up your actions and your paths, what you did. And let go of your bad and evil path that you chose to take. Also your thoughts, that they're not good. Therefore, Therefore, one has to see himself throughout the entire year like as if he has 50% merits, 50% sins. Why? Now, what he's saying here right now happens to be that we're two weeks before Rosh Hashanah. Some people read this uh, 11 months before Rosh Hashanah. Now he's telling us, in other words, one of the effects of the shofar is to wake us up from our, from our uh, sleepiness, from being completely uh, uh, not focused on the Torah and mitzvot. And to do tshuva, to go back from my wrong path. But one thing that you need to acquire, whether it's like today, two weeks before Rosh Hashanah, or whether it's 11 months before Rosh Hashanah, you constantly have to hold yourself like as if you have 50% mitzvot, 50% averot. Why? Because that's going to put you in some type of a reality. Wait, wait a minute, I need to do tshuva. I need to at least add more mitzvot and reduce averot. <clears throat> so all the time you have to take the consideration that you're exactly in the middle. Don't say, you know what, I think I'm doing pretty good. I mean, I have a few sins here and there, but I'm doing pretty good. You know, I'm pretty sure that I have 80% good, 20% bad, yalla no, whatever. So don't hold like that because that's not correct. Nevertheless, always hold it like you have half. Vechen kol haolam, and not only you, also the entire world. Remember, yesterday I told you that also the world gets uh, judged. Chetzio zakai vechetzio chayav. Always accepted that the world is half, uh, has merits, and the other half has sins. Chata chet echad, you do one sin, harei yechri et atzmo vet kol haolam kolo lekaf chuvah. Now let's say you, are fi you, you hold yourself that you are 50-50, not 49-51. You wake up in the morning, you say, I am 50% mitzvot, 50% averot. Now what's going to happen if you do one sin? That's it, you go back to kaf chova. You put yourself in a deficit. 
הכריע עצמו וכל העולם לכף חובה. Now you're putting the entire world and you on the scale or to the side of that you owe. וגרם לו השחתה. And what would be the result? That you bring on yourself destruction. עשה מצווה אחת, what if you did one מצווה? Now now you're 51%. הרי הכריע את עצמו וכל העולם כולו לכף זכות. Now you tilt the entire scale on a favorable side. Now I said 51%, it could be 50.000001. Don't take my, uh, my words always, and, I mean, I just threw out 51. But if you're exactly 50-50 and you put on the scale one little good act, then automatically you tilt the scale on a positive side. What's going to be the result? You cause yourself a rescue and salvation. One little mitzvah. Therefore, you always have to grab a mitzvah because you don't know where you're holding. How many times you had the opportunity to do mitzvah and you said to yourself, oh, I, don't, I really don't feel like this right now. You know, sometimes you offer somebody, do you want to eat? What do you have to eat? We have an amazing sandwich. Is this a mozi? Yeah. I'll have from the apple. Why? No, I, 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 I feel like saying a birkat amazon. Just give me some the, from the salad. You know, you can, you never know, maybe this mitzvah that you're going to sit now on your tuchas for three and a half minutes and say Birkat Amazon, that's the mitzvah that you grab and you're putting on the scale now and it will tilt the whole scale, the kav zchut. So a mitzvah comes to your way. Listen, I'm not talking about initiating mitzvot. That, I'm, I'm not expecting it from any, everybody. You should try to initiate mitzvot whenever you can. But even yesterday, my wife ordered pizza. One of my son comes. He's like, he's like, is this a mozi or is this a mezonot? I told him, even if it's mezonot, even though I doubt that most of the pizzas are mezonot, you know how diluted the, 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 the dough has to be, but whatever. But I told him, even if it's mezonot, you, this is your dinner. You're going to have two, three pieces. So make a suda, even if it's mezonot. So you sit another... Five minutes and 43 seconds and say a bracha to the Kadosh Baruch a mitzvah d'oraita. So initiate a mitzvah. But here, it's if it comes to your direction, don't so quickly say, you know, I'll pass. Why? Because this can be your rescue. This can be your salvation. How many times you gave over, you gave up a mitzvah? Don't do that. Now, where do you, we learn this from? Shenemar, as it says in the book of Mishlei, Proverbs, Chapter 10, verse 25, V'tzadik yesod olam, but the righteous is the foundation of the world. You do one mitzvah, you can become righteous, and you will build a foundation to the world. Zesh tzadak, who's the righteous person? The one who won the, the case, tzadak. He's, uh, he's not necessarily Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, this is not the tzadik we're talking about. Tzadik means tzadak, tzadak badin, he won the, the case. Hechriya et kol olam kulo, you now put the entire world in, the, in a favorable scale and save the entire world with one little action. Therefore, the, we, took, we take on ourselves, the nation of Israel, to increase acts of kindness and charity. And also acts of goodness and kindness. And to ask, to, to do as much as mitzvot that I can, when, I mean, I will add all year round, Rambam says, Mi Rosh Hashanah v'ad Yom HaKippurim. And don't think for one second I'm saying I'm better than Rambam, that I'm saying I'm going to add. I'm just saying, my point of view is, don't wait for Seret Yemet Juvah. Do it all year long, that you want to add as much as you can. But here he's talking about the Tkiyat Shofar. So when do we do it? Mi Rosh Hashanah v'ad Yom Kippurim. From Rosh Hashanah to Yom Kippurim, you have seven days. Technically it's 10, but 7, we actually, it's not Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur. So we increase in acts of kindness and charity and learning Torah and so forth. Why do we do that? We do that to increase and to make sure that we have as much as merits as possible. And we do that in the 10 days of Juvah, more from the entire year. Yotir mikol hashanah. ונהגו כולם לקום בלילה בעשרה ממנו להתפלל בבתי כנסיות and many have the custom to wake up very early and to do תיקון חצות, to pray in a synagogue. Uh, I mean we say סליחות uh, uh, 40 days, some people only say the סליחות in the 10 day, the days of תשובה. Throughout the 40 days they're like, eh, I mean the 30 days. They're like, yeah, one time, they, one time they come, one time they don't come. But 10 days of תשובה, doesn't matter what's going to happen, turn the world upside down, don't miss the, your סליחות. 
and you pray in the synagogue with the great tachanunim and uh, with the great kivushim ad shayya or ayom. And you pray all sorts of words that awakens the soul to do tshuva until the day of the, the dawn comes up. Why? Because you want to add as much as chuyot, as marriage as you can before Yom Kippur. So now we, are, uh, we have even an advantage. Imagine you would read this a day before Rosh Hashanah. Now we're reading it two weeks before Rosh Hashanah. So it gives you another two weeks to say, wow, you know, I don't know where I'm holding. Maybe right now, this second, I'm 50-50. So I have now two weeks to, as they say, pack it in. Pack it in. Sit and learn Torah as much as you can. Acts of kindness, charity, whatever you can. Because let's say you're now 50-50. You might be 20% good and 80% bad. By the way, don't be so sure of yourself. But nevertheless, now is the time to... Let's pack it in, and needless to say, in the 10 days of Tshuva. And by knowing that and uh, pondering upon that, you, you should increase in your uh, acts of kindness and to understand that don't ever think that you're doing great. Now, if you are doing great, well, no harm has done. You just added more. But one should always hold himself that I'm not doing that great. If you feel that you're doing okay, that will cause you to be lazy. That will cause you to be like, okay, no, I'm doing great. So today I don't have to pray. Today I don't have to learn, I don't have to do much. I did great the last three and a half days. So always hold yourself that you're not doing that great and you constantly have to increase besides the fact that you don't know what will be that mitzvah, that little act that you do, that that will be what tilts the entire scale of your own personal scale and the entire world to a favorable side that will bring salvation, rescue and, and, uh, and uh, tikkun, a, a rectification for the entire world. Zad Hashem Hashem should uh, erase, delete, and forgive all our sins.